Hi folks, Bob Dale, Jackson Lee Sales, Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell motorhomes. Folks, we sell them only on eBay and we sell lots of them. Today we're going to list a motorhome that we're so lucky to have. We try to buy them. They are so hard to find. It is, in fact, no play on words in the American tradition and that everybody wants. This one is an American Dream, a 1997 Fleetwood American Dream. It's 39 foot long, folks, and it's as nice as it can be. We drove it 820 something miles home. Everything on it works. We got a 325 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel, a 7.5 kW Odin generator, good set of tires, got a dome satellite system, Ice maker on the inside, it's as nice as one can be. A 97 Fleetwood American Dream, let's show it to you. The glass is good, we can point this out though. The rock takes them all, leave here, perfect. There's a few little paint flecks on it, you can't do it. We're not going to paint on this folks, we'll cover those up. And if you want to, they're easily touched up with a $10 bottle of touch up paint. See how bright and shiny it is, no D lamb, we've got nothing to paint to it. This is just the way we got it, folks. This is full body paint, and it is beautiful. Uh, tires, no dry rock, tread that deep. The awnings are perfect. Uh, if they've been out there for any at all, it's not very much. Brandon's gonna open you, show you these compartments, how new this is. Look at this. Looky Absolute, there. Absolutely immaculate. I didn't say look at there, I said look at this. It's pretty amazing. My son went a lot uh, uh, schooled on this, so he uh, I'm speechless. The rest of us were good. Nice, nice motor. No, no D lamp. Look how bright this paint is. Good sir, got all that. Right here. This has the side radiator on it. Gives you better cooling capacity since it's getting more airflow through it and plus the means there's no engine fan pointing straight back to kick up rocks and stuff over whatever you're towing. The ladder, you saw the ladder climb up on the side, but it's got a, a uh, fiberglass roof. You can see up here. Is that fiberglass? Awnings are so pretty. Has a 10 gallon hot water heater. Those are aluminum alloy wheels, they're not hubcaps. No dry rod on the end of these wheels. I guess that's a bra. Has a bra for the front, has a slide, slide out tray, and it is a uh, these basement compartments. You can see the vent over there, they are heated so. In the winter time, you can put stuff out here in the basement. Unruly kids, contrary old SOBs, uh, whatever is, you want to put, this is and they won't freeze. Match and set of tires, son. Nice set of tires. They're 22 and fives. They're the big tires. Yeah. They just couldn't be any clean. Uh, it's got a fabric awning. Fabric window awnings. They all have metal sunshades to protect the fabric, and it shows. Works. Underneath these steps, both of these steps are some little compartments. You can stick whatever it is you want to stick in there if you may not want it to be found. Air operated step cover. It works. Television goes up and down. That's the television's up. And this down. TV will move all the way up and down. We've got the remotes. Here's your backup camera. Look how nice this leather interior is, sir. This driver's seat's power. Has a uh, six-speed Allison transmission, not a four-speed. The spotlight works. Has a uh, pack brake, exhaust brake. It works. 82,000 miles. Runs perfect. Got a Sony AM FM stereo, power gear jacks. 
has facing sofas. Now this is a sofa, folks, uh, right here. This does not make into a bed, of course. This does, and this makes into a real bed. It folds out, the cushions fold over. And there's that a is picture a of it in the good sleeping bed. There's a picture of it in here. That leather, that may, it may be a bed, and we just ain't figured it out. But well, just, just buy it to be a sofa. And we don't know. We don't know how to make it into a bed. If it is, it's it's it's, it's, it's factory. It's where it came from. Factory. That's the original leather. It matches the seats and all that. Corian counters. Of course, when you fold this couch out, it just about touches this other one anyway. Yeah. So you just got one big bed. Has a U-line ice maker down on the bottom. That's real tile floors in the kitchen and bathroom. Very Corian. Uh, you can look at all the glass uh, water works. It has a filtered water uh, water filters on on the tap, so you don't have to. Folks, this furniture is all original. Zoom from, go from this to the couch and show them that's the original furniture that came in these. Uh, this dinette is immaculate. Now, of course, this makes it into a bed. It has uh, every book you can it, think it, of. You can't, there's no books that you can't find in here. It's got storage everywhere. Uh, it's got all here. Check all your levels. Solar charging has a uh, 2,000 watt inverter. You can see it's on and charging. All the glass is original. See all the bevel and cut glass in it throughout. That's all. That's all from the factory. Here's your stove. It's beautiful. This one's a little unusual. It has a sharp carousel convection microwave oven and a gas oven. And here's what storage everywhere. Here's what everyone asks us for. Uh, washer and dryer. And that is still where it's supposed to be. Your washer and dryer here. It's handy to use. Storage space everywhere. Has it been used? No. It doesn't appear. I'm sure it has been, but it doesn't appear to be. Uh, you got a side-by-side -side refrigerator. This refrigerator has been replaced. Yeah, that's that's not the original refrigerator. And, and it's ice cold, folks. Stainless steel. You can add an ice maker, but you got that separate one, so you don't really need it and leave have the extra storage space. It's nice in here. Here's what I like. I like these big bathrooms and big bedrooms. Of course, it has a portion of the boat. I want you to look at the storage in here, cedar closets. Big cedar closets. The one cool thing, or one of the cool things about this, has a net carrying capacity of 6,200 pounds. Now that, you get a lot of these motorhomes that when you add your people and gear and stuff, they'll be overloaded. But this one, you could park a Cadillac on the roof and it would not be overloaded. Beautiful bathroom shower. Has Corey encounter in the bathroom. I, I really like this. You got a door goes across right here, folks. Here's your hood. That's a real door. See the figure of the wood, that's not the press something. Real wood, and then of course you got a, uh, a wood door right here. It comes across. Oh, the wax is probably there. on the bottom. Open it. Got tons drawers. of drawers. And this cabinetry, folks, is, is, is made. They made this, this motorhome. They came in here with Craftsman and they built these cabinets. They didn't build them somewhere and and uh, on Okinawa or in the Philippines and bring them over here and, and slam them in a motorhome the way most of them are done now. This is real American craftsmanship. 97 American Dream, but it is beautiful. And of course, in today's dollars, this motorhome cost about 890 million. Yeah, yeah, at least. Uh, big bedroom, you can get around in here just, just fine. Closets on both sides, lots of storage. Once again, folks, the original glass. See the cut glass and all that? All that are storage up there, the TV back here. That's all your good Sharp TV, has your CO2 detector so you can run the generator all night without having to worry about anything. This is a classic, folks. If, you, if they built this motor home today, it would cost... Well, they do cost nearly a million. Yeah. I mean. All jokes aside, in today's dollars, it probably cost four or five hundred thousand when it was new. Yeah. It won't be that much this time around. Tile floors Hot throughout the kitchen and bathroom. Well, it could be nicer. 
has a uh, gas and electric hot water. You see the refrigerator phone, you show all the lines? Yeah. Because it's ice cold. See, they even put the little uh, blue matching stripes on the blinds that see right here over match the, the rest they, of the coach. They match them in the kitchen. See these here? That's the original blind. Uh, we don't get many of these folks. We never see an American dream or an American tradition or an American eagle that we don't buy. And so, see the yeah well once or twice a year we'll find one of these that we can buy and, and sell because we just absolutely love it. You see how big a room it is? There's all kinds of growth with this and I don't know what the brochures say but you call me folks. I see that it will sleep two, four, six, seven people. Uh, it will sleep eighteen midgets. Yeah the right yeah, little brochure. people. Question about this motorhome? Call me. I answer my I answer my phone all the time. I answer my phone on the, in the evenings, and early mornings, and weekends. If you don't answer my phone, I'll call you back. Sometimes I get a couple hundred phone calls a day. But the best the phone, thing to do if Dad don't answer, just keep diving over and over, and uh, eventually he'll pick up. And eventually, yeah. Well, uh, that's that's the way my my son goes. Uh, Anyway, uh, if, if, if you have a question about this motorhome, or if you want to buy it, you want to make an offer for it, call me and tell me what it is. Like it's not, I'll sell it to you. You hear me say this frequently in our videos. Some of them we will run the length of the auction, uh, but motorhomes like this don't. Someone's going to call and say, here's what I'll give, and I'm going to say, come and get it. So if you've got a figured mind you want to give for this motorhome that you're comfortable with, you need to call me because more than likely it will not last till the end of the sale. You don't see many 97 greens that are this nice. Uh, and of course, I'm going to be 68 Sunday, so I still have a 67 green. No, it's a Vietnam 67, so I don't really got that. Anyway, greens are funny. They're really funny when you get over. Uh, we'll list it. It is a 97, folks, American dream. About as nice a one as the country, I can assure you. A 97 Dream, it's got a 325 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel. Uh, you heard the generator running. The generator's powering everything right now. It's nice and cool in here. And it's so, a diesel generator. Yeah, here in the Confederacy today, it's over 100, and the heat index, golly, knows what it is. 328. It's a, uh, uh, yeah, it is a, uh, a 7.5 Onan quiet diesel generator. It has a satellite system on top, the dome satellite system. And we don't know how it works. It just, it has it. That's all we can say about it. It's there, and we're sure, I'm sure my mechanic will go, oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But we, we tell you every time, we don't know how it works. There's manuals on it. And invariably, our customers already know, so we don't have to do this disclaimer, but it does have a dome satellite system in it. Everything on it works. I want to just walk here and let you look. This air is ice cold. You can see all the lights. It's all original except this refrigerator. And that's a high dollar, probably $3,500 or $4,000 refrigerator that's been put in this thing and it works perfectly. So beyond that, washer and dryer, uh, real tile floors. We don't know anything that doesn't work. We did, in fact, drive this motor home, folks, from Lakeland, Florida, which is 826 miles to home. And I'm sure that some of you who watch our videos get tired of hearing me uh, 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 say this. But having just driven this in the past week, 826 miles, 
has value, folks. Uh, you go to a motorhome dealer, they have motorhomes that sit there three, four, five years before they sell them. Uh, you go to an individual, God only knows what story you're going to tell, you can't verify it. You buy a motorhome from us, all of our motorhomes have been driven a minimum of 600 miles. This one, eight, oh, 800 plus, and, and, and we can prove it. We can show you the invoice. Uh, before you call and ask me, we do have a good title. We buy bank repossessions. This was a Bank of America, I think, repossession. Uh, we have a good title, uh, and uh, there's nothing else said. If any of you uh, people invariably ask, can I see, be glad, be glad to fax you a copy of it. But anyway, we're going to list it. It's a 97 American Dream. Can't think of anything else to say about it except that it is a wonderful motorhome. It's a classic motorhome, and I can assure you, folks, go look at the books. Whatever it's worth now, it will be worth as much or more in five years. So this is one of those safe things that you can own and you can enjoy without losing your house. So we do appreciate you looking at our motorhomes and our videos, folks. We do appreciate you bidding on our motorhomes and being our customers. We thank goodness for our many hundreds of customers all around the world. And by the world, I mean literally from Japan, Okinawa, uh, you won't believe this one, the Solomon Islands. We sent one to Kwajalein. We sent them to Europe. Uh, 150 or 60 to Canada. So our customers everywhere, we, we, we thank you for your business. We appreciate you guys, folks, and we look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi. Thank you. start talking about these cult followers, that, <laughs> that sounds like there's people sitting in a powwow chanting and uh, just rubbing themselves against well, it. Well, you can, God knows you can put else. a little disclaimer and say, cult to my dad means a club. <laughs> that, it doesn't have the same yeah. meaning. They're not dancing in circles around it with uh, war paint on No, don't, don't take too many pictures to get that 